Welcome to Farms.com. This is Michelle Lamrand with Wayne Black, who is running for the presidential spot for the Ontario Federation of Agriculture. Wayne, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a cash crop farmer from northern Huron County, in just uh, just off the lake, of Lake Lake Huron, and I I work along with my father, also who's a cash crop farmer now. We have a history of being in the livestock industry. This past summer, just the way the markets have been and the way my dad, father's run his operation, we have divested of the dairy dairy operation. Uh, in the past, we have had the beef and the pork industry, so we we I have a lot of knowledge in the livestock industry and currently just in the cash crop. Advocating for agriculture, uh, past president of the Huron County Federation of Agriculture, and there's been numerous economic development uh, committees I've sat on uh, in the local county, and I've also been involved with the Southwest Economic Alliance, which is the 15 counties and west of 400 pretty much. Uh, provincially, I'm actively involved with the Agricultural Adaptation Council, which dispenses government funding to new opportunities and new research within the agricultural industry across Ontario. And currently I am sitting as a director at large on the OFA board. Okay, so since you're running for the presidential spot, what are the issues that you really want to address? There's, there's a lot of issues that, uh, that, that come up every year. Every, every, I guess every year there's, a, there's the constant issues of farm profitability. Uh, this past year the OFA was, had the opportunity to get involved with government to cut down the regulatory red tape with uh, open for business. But I guess what sets me apart from the other people, the, the, my opponents, is the what I would like to bring to the table and how to address those issues. And having the open lines of communications, listening to the members, listening to the stakeholders, and also having the ability to converse, to have a two-way communication with the individuals who have those issues and I, th I believe that in order to really fight for those issues, you have to take a walk in their shoes. Um, that, that's what I really enjoy about doing this. Not only being able to take a walk in their shoes, but you also learn about their issue. You get to feel it. You get to, you get to live the issue. And then that gives you the ability to passionately bring that issue forward and better understand it and better argue. Um, I've, I've found that uh, bringing the real facts to the table and addressing the real facts has uh, been beneficial in being able to fight for what you need. What kind of support have you been finding as you've ran for this position? One thing that I've been really fortunate from is the finding out that I, there's a lot of support right across Ontario. I was originally asked to run for this position by some OFA members and as the as, uh, within the agricultural industry everybody talks and as this information has been spread out I'm finding that there's been a lot of support right across Ontario, right across the OFA membership, across the sectors. In Ontario, we have 200 different commodities we grow, we produce in our, in our industry, and it's, it's across those industries, across all those sectors is where I get finding that there seems to be a lot of support. And so when it comes to, down to is what kind of commitment and what kind of support we have at home. And I would like to say that my wife and my kids are very excited that I am running for this position. And I am going to be committed to this position. There's a, I have a great network of people at home to help out with the farm while I'm away and help out with the family. The, my parents are supportive of me. They're going to help pick up the slack while I'm gone. And as we know that in Ontario agriculture, if you need something done, just pick up the phone. And there's a lot of custom operators out there these days. So the sport's been right across the board, family, uh, industry, uh, OFA members and the commitment is there. The commitment is there from my supporters to assist me also. There's a large team of uh, advisors that have substantial knowledge on uh, lobbying and dealing with uh, issues and also working with NOFA that are supportive of me and they're also available when I need them uh, to assist me to get through to the next to the next step. I think what's really important is that the, the support is broad-based and it's not just a, yes, we will support you. It's people that are saying, yes, we will support you. What do we need to do to help? Okay, okay so you made a lot of great points. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yes, uh, I think that over the past year, I've been able to develop a, a new perspective on my, uh, th develop a new network and increase the network that I have. Through, the, through my past history, working, with, uh, ver working for other organizations, working for corporations, within the Ontario agricultural industry, 
and developing leadership skills. Over the past, uh, I guess over the past few years of my experience, I've had a lot of leaders as my mentors, and those leaders are well respected within the within Ontario agriculture. So it's being able to build a network of individuals, farmers, stakeholders, industry, government. Uh, it's been really interesting, and through the programs I'm learning uh, with the Advanced Ag Leadership Program, my education with the University of Guelph, and learning as I go, it's been able to open up a lot of doors and open up a lot of two-way communications. And hopefully that as a president, as a hopefully as elected as president for the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, it will bring a more youthful, energetic look to the organization and hopefully it will inspire youth to become an actively engaged in Ontario agricultural issues and at the end of the day it will definitely bring more young farmers back into the industry and that's an issue that's been recognized by industry that we need more youth, we need more energetic youthful figures for speaking up for Ontario agriculture and then that should inspire the youth to come back into our industry. Well, thank you very much for joining us. This was Wayne Black, the presidential candidate for the OFA this year. Have a nice day.